Well, I'm here to tell you about Colonel Green, his mansion and his carriage house, and about our library building. The original mansion and carriage house were built about 1890 as a summer home for Colonel George Gill Green, who was in fact a colonel. He was a Civil War veteran and a New Jersey millionaire. He lived from 1842 to 1925. The family wealth came originally from Green's own patent medicine business and from publishing almanacs. In the late 1800s, he sold elixirs and potions to the public under such names as Green's August Flower and Dr. Boshi's German Syrup. These were mostly laudanum mixtures, however, and what we would now call opioids. When the Pure Food and Drug Act was passed in 1906, that, the patent medicine business declined rapidly. Anyway, while the Green Mansion is gone now, the carriage house still stands as a private residence, and you can see part of it here behind me, the castle tower here. Uh, some elements of the original gardens apparently are also visible still behind the fence on private property. Um, when the carriage house was a, a stable, up to nine horses could stay in there, as well as multiple carriages, so it's quite a big place. The architect for this building and for the Green Mansion was Frederick Rarig, who also designed the McNally House, which is a, sort of across the street over there. Colonel Green also hired Frederick Rarig to build the Green Hotel, in, or the Hotel Green in Pasadena, which is now the Castle Green Apartments. Green Street in Pasadena was also named for the Colonel, so his name is still big around here. The Greens and McNally's were both big boosters of Altadena. Uh, they were major financers for the Los Angeles Terminal Railway, which was the first railway that brought passengers from Los Angeles and Pasadena up to Altadena. The right-of-way originally ran a little bit about a block south of here on the southern boundary of McNally's and Greens property. Um, the line, there wasn't a lot of people up here then. It was said at times McNally and Green were the only passengers. Colonel Green had his own private rail car. There was this, apparently a siding down below here where he kept his private car. And uh, we have some pictures of the interior. It's quite luxurious. The famous Mount Low Railway used that right of way to get passengers to their Lake and Altadena Junction. From there, they took the uh, electric train up to Mount Low and uh, Echo Mountain. Colonel Green and his family lived here only 13 years. They moved back east in about 1903 but they did love Altadena. They named their youngest child, a daughter, Altadena Green. The original mansion fell into disrepair and was demolished in the early 1960s. This carriage house had already been sold off though as a private residence in 1958, so it has survived. In fact, the same family apparently has owned this since 1958 uh, through three generations. Green's mansion was torn down, but the community library stands here now. The original Altadena Public Library, the building is still there. It's on Lake Avenue near Mariposa. Uh, by 1960, however, it was pretty clear that that building was too small for a community of 40,000 people. So in 1961, the trustees purchased this property, about two acres of land here. And in 1963, the community passed a bond issue of half a million dollars, $500,000, for the construction of a new library building. Construction began soon after, and on August 28, 1967, at a simple ribbon-cutting ceremony here, attended by a large group of Altadenans, the library opened its doors officially to the public. The architect here, though, is also worth mentioning. His name is Boyd Georgie, who was born in 1914 in San Diego. He attended Occidental College and USC, where he received his degree in architecture. Boyd Georgie was a very talented California modernist. Aside from the Altadena Public Library, he designed the current Pasadena High School campus and many other buildings throughout Southern California. He continued practicing architecture until his death in 1999. And that's all I have to tell you about the Greens and their mansion. <laughs>